Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to our final day of Sacred Womb, Hip Mobility, and Openings. I hope you have been having an amazing time and just taking time to connect with your womb, connect with yourself, your sense of expression. And for today, we are moving into pleasure and creativity. So feel free to grab any props. We'll be doing some deep hip openers here. So I would definitely advise for blocks if you have them, as well as a cushion. And if you don't have any blocks, you can always use books or anything that can just help you stay upright in certain shapes. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's come into a nice seated position, any comfortable seat. And let's just take a moment to check in. Check in with our mind, our body, our breath, our womb. Feel free to have one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, or maybe both palms on your belly if that feels good. And just start to breathe through your body. Maybe bring your eyes to a slight close or a full close, breathing through your body. Breathing into your palms. And then softening on your exhales, feeling the breath release. Just starting to bring yourself to a space of calmness and ease so you can hear what's showing up and what's going on for you. Deep breath, inhale. And soften on your exhale. Start to set your intention for your class today. Maybe it's the intention of pleasure and creativity. Or maybe you have something else that you're working with. And just start to breathe that intention through your body. Beautiful, everyone. Let's go ahead and move into our butterfly shape. So bring the soles of your feet together. And since we're still warming up our hips and warming up our body, feel free to incorporate your blocks as well as your cushion for this shape. And we'll just stay here for a moment, continuing that breath, mind, body connection. And just moving any stagnant energy around in our hip space. Our hips help us to move forward in life, move forward on our journey. We also house a lot of emotions and past experiences in our hips. So as we move into this theme of pleasure and creativity, which begins in the womb, Notice what emotions come up around allowing yourself to experience creativity, to experience the pleasure of your life, the pleasure of movement, pleasure of connection, expression. And just start sending your breath all the way down to your womb space and your hips. Here in our butterfly shape. And we'll stay for a few more breaths. And taking that deep, deep inhale. And exhale. Beautiful, everyone. When you're ready, slowly start to roll all the way up. And feel free to windshield wiper your knees here as we open up our hips a little bit further. And once you finish adding your windshield wipers let's come into tabletop so shoulders over wrists hips above your knees 
feel free to add some movement here. Come into your cat cows, come into your puppy, thread the needle, really allowing this moment to be an intuitive one for you. Whatever your body is feeling called for, whatever your body wants to experience, and feel free to get creative. And I'm giving you this space to move intuitively, express yourself, connect with yourself. And allow your body to experience and enjoy the pleasure of movement. And we take a full breath, inhale, breathing through your body. And exhale. One more, just like that, everyone. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Now from your tabletop, let's come into our lizard. So step your right foot in between both palms. And then once you're there, place both palms on the inside of your right foot. Start to shift your hips forward and down, getting into your hip flexors. Feel free to incorporate your blocks as well as your cushion for this one. And again, maybe staying in lizard feels good, or maybe you want to add some more movement. Maybe you come into a half split that's straightening your right leg, keeping the back knee bent. Or maybe you just stay here in lizard. And feel free to close your eyes, visualizing your breath traveling towards your hips, towards your womb, removing any sensation, emotion, stagnation, anything that's no longer needed. Let your breath help to cleanse it out. Let me take one more breath on our right side. Deep inhale. And exhale. And when you're ready, start to switch sides. So Step your right leg back, and then step your left foot in between both palms. From there, place both palms on the inside of your left foot. Move right into lizard, coming into a new side of your body. Experience what this side might feel like. Notice if you're clenching anywhere, start to soften your toes, your shoulders, even your belly. Let me take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. When you are ready, come back into your full tabletop. And let's move right into our down dog. We'll do a nice sun salutation, warming up our spine and the rest of our body. So in your down dog, go ahead, start to paddle out your heels, bend one knee at a time or both. Let that help you to stretch your back body. Notice what's showing up for you. And then take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale, flutter the lips, let out a sigh. Let's move into our sun salutation. So from down dog, bend your knees, arch your spine, look forward. And then step or hop towards the top of your mat, come right into your forward fold. Spend some time here in your forward fold, really bend your knees, let your chest rest down towards your thighs. That's gonna to help to release your lower back as well as your spine. So feel free to ragdoll from side to side. Shake your head no, shake it yes, if that feels good. And then take a full breath. Inhale, breathe into your lower back. And exhale. Now go ahead, keep a bend in both knees, release both palms down. 
start to roll all the way up, unraveling your spine. Really feel everything stack on top. Now, as you arrive, go ahead, inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Feel yourself grow tall, lengthen your spine. And then come into your back bend. Start to reach your arms up and back, still warming up your body. Exhale, forward fold, let it all go, release your spine. Now take a deep breath, inhale, half lift, re-lengthen, reach the crown of your head forward. And then exhale, forward fold, step it back, any chaturanga of your choice. Moving and flowing with your breath. And we'll meet back in our down dog when you are ready, taking a nice reset breath here. Deep inhale through your nose. And exhale. From your down dog, go ahead, sweep and extend your right leg up and back. Now feel free here if you would like to come into your flip dog or open up the hips. You could drop your right foot behind you, squeeze your glutes to lift your hips. Lengthen your arm forward. We take a breath. Inhale. And exhale. Three leg dog. Re extend your right leg up and back. And let's come into our low lunge. So step your right foot through in between your palms. Now, from here, you're going to drop your back heel, sweep and extend your arms up for warrior one. So your back foot is completely pressed down. And then feel free to step your back foot in an inch or two just to help you with the stance. And shifting your right hip back, left hip forward. We take a breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Now moving into our humble warrior, extend both arms back behind you, interlace your fingers, pull as if you're trying to punch the back wall. Really feel that opening of your chest and your heart space. Now take a full breath here. Inhale, breathe into your heart. Exhale, humble warrior, release the crown of your head down on the inside of your right foot, really opening up your hips here. Now feel free to use your blocks. You can gently place your hand on your block or go ahead and continue to reach your interlaced fingers up towards the top of your mat. That's going to add a little bit more intensity here. But breathe through what you are feeling in the body. We take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful, everyone. Start to roll all the way back up. And let's move into our warrior two. And start to adjust your feet, right heel in the center of your left foot. Stack your shoulders on top of your hips. And then go ahead, start to take up space in your mat. Bend your right knee, opening up your hip. And let's take a full breath, everyone. Deep, deep inhale. Feel your arms extend apart. And exhale. We move into our flying warrior. So for that, you're going to straighten your right leg, pivot your right toes in towards the left, and sweep both arms up, really lengthening your spine. Feel that extension through your body. Now take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. We come into Skandasana. So for that, you're going to peel your left toes out on a slight diagonal. Bend your left knee, start to straighten your right leg, come into a side lunge. Now, this is a really great shape for blocks, so feel free to sit on top of your block, and that's going to help you to keep your spine long as you open out your hips and your womb space. Beautiful. Let's take a breath, everyone. Hands can be heart center. Feel free if you're more advanced. If you want to come into a bind, go right ahead. We take a full breath, deep inhale, and exhale. Now from here, let's come into our side angle. So taking your time, you're going to re-bend your right knee, 
adjust your back leg. So make sure your back foot is pressed down into your mat, right elbow on your thigh or right palm down on the inside of your right foot. Let this help you to open your hips, open your chest, lengthen your spine. And then again, if you are more advanced, feel free to come into your bind, half or full. Take your top hand, bind it behind your back. And then you can take your bottom arm and loop it underneath your right thigh to begin meeting with your top. Now go ahead, take a full breath. Deep inhale, lengthen and open. And exhale. Beautiful, everyone. Let's come back into warrior two, almost there. We reverse our warrior. Sweep your right arm up and over, stretching your right side body. Feel that release. Take a breath. And exhale, low lunge, release both palms down. Step your right foot back, any chaturanga of your choice. Now, as you move through these movements, notice your mind. How can you bring your mind to a state of ease, a state of pleasure, allowing your body to just flow and move and open, even though these shapes are a bit challenging? Let's go ahead and find a breath in our down dog. Deep inhale. And exhale. Left side, sweep and extend your left leg up and back. Option to come back into your flip dog or just open up the hips. Now again, whatever shape is challenging for you, breathe through it. Find this state of joy as you move through your body. We take a breath, inhale. And exhale, three-leg dog, re-extend your left leg up and back. Let's step it through and come into low lunge, left foot in between both palms. Press your back heel down. So really feel your right foot press into your mat. Now you rise tall, warrior one. Soften your shoulders down your back. Allow your stance to be nice and, and strong here. Take a breath, inhale. And exhale. Moving into our humble warrior, extend both arms behind you, interlace your fingers. Pull as if you're punching the ground. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale, humble warrior. Release the crown of your head down on the inside of your left foot. Continue to reach and extend your arms forward. Or go ahead and use your block. Listening to what your body needs. Now can you send all that energy into your left Breathe into that sensation. We take one more breath. Inhale, almost there. And exhale. Start to rise all the way back up into your warrior one. And then open it out to warrior two. Chest and hips now face the side. Left heel in, in front of your, or in the center of your right foot. Start to take up a little bit more space. We take a deep breath here, everyone. Full inhale, breathe through your body. And then flutter your lips on the exhale. <sighs> Flying warrior, rise all the way up to standing. This time, pivot your left toes in towards the right. Feel your spine lengthen as you grow tall. We move into skandasana towards the right side. You're going to peel your right toes open on a slight diagonal. Bend your right knee. Come into a side lunge. Now your left toes are going to peel up towards the ceiling. And the objective here is you want to keep your spine as long as you can. Feel free to sit on a block here. This is going to really help this shape. Or really help you in this shape. We stay for a breath. You're doing amazing. Full breath, inhale, breathe into your hips, breathe into your womb. And exhale. We move back into side angle. Rebend your left knee. Left toes face forward. Adjust your right foot so that it's pressed down. Now you have your left arm on your thigh or left palm down, right arm high. 
Again, continue to open up your hips here. So that's the theme, opening up our hip space to allow us our creative energy. Feel free to come into a bind, half or full. We take one more breath. Inhale, lengthen and reach. And exhale. Warrior two, almost there. Reverse your warrior, sweep and extend your left arm up and back. Feel that stretch in your left side body. We take a deep breath, everyone, full and deep. Inhale. And exhale, low lunge, let it go. Release both palms. Step your left foot back, any chaturanga of your choice. Really taking that full and deep breath. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. And then exhale, hips high, down dog. Beautiful work, everyone. Let's take a breath. Inhale through your nose. Through the mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> now from your down dog, go ahead, bend your knees, arch your spine, look forward. And step towards the top of your mat, come into your forward fold. We're gonna move into our Malasana squat. So feel free to have a block close by. For that, you're gonna open your feet out wider than hip width distance. So about mat width distance. Peel your toes out on a slight diagonal. So open out your toes and then go ahead, bend your knees, start to sit your hips down and back. Hands can be heart center. This is a great shape to sit on top of a block. And then use your elbows to press and open out your thighs. That's going to open up the hips here. Now, this is a great shape for your lower back as well as your hips. We're going to stay here for two breaths, everyone. Breathing your intention through your body, into your hip space, into your womb. Opening yourself up for creativity for the pleasure of creating, creating your life, creating new life, whatever creativity and pleasure mean for you, breathe that through your body. We stay for one more breath, everyone, full inhale. And exhale, beautiful. From here, release both palms down, lift your hips, come into your forward fold, feel free to Bend one knee at a time, move anything around. We take a deep breath, inhale, half lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step it back, any chaturanga of your choice. Taking that full breath, inhale, upward facing or cobra. And then exhale, hips high, down dog. Beautiful, everyone. Let's take a breath. Inhale. And exhale. And we'll come into our final hip opener, which will be our half pigeon. Option to also come into figure four on your back as well. So for your half pigeon, go ahead, swinging, extend your right shin and knee in between both palms. And you're going to lengthen and extend your left leg back behind you. Start to square your chest and hips forward. So make sure you're sitting on top of your left knee instead of on the side. If you're on the side, use a block or a cushion to place it underneath your right hip. And that's going to help you to sit more upright to release your upper body over your right leg. Now, if you're going into that half pigeon, I mean, not that half pigeon, that figure four, release down onto your back. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh and then grab onto your left hamstring as you pull your leg in towards your chest. And we'll be here for a few breaths, everyone. So see if you can close your eyes, sending your energy, your intention, your healing to your hips and your womb. And the reason why we spend so much time opening up our hips is so we can move freely in our creative energy. To 
Take a breath. Inhale. And exhale. Again, just like that. Deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Taking your time, start to make your way towards your left side, any way that feels supportive. So if you're in your figure four, you just cross left over right. If you're in your half pigeon, maybe you come back into down dog, tabletop. Or just swivel your left leg forward, right leg back. Now take a moment to adjust yourself. You're in a new side of your body, so you're going to have a different experience, and that's okay. Start to square your chest and hips forward. And release down over your leg. Take some time softening your toes, your fingers. Your belly. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. One more, just like that, inhale, and exhale. Begin to release out of your half pigeon. And then gently make your way onto your back. So really take your time. If you're on your back already, scoop both knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a nice hug. If you would like to come into Happy Baby, go ahead. We've done a lot of hip openers. So if you would like to just stay here with your knees and your chest, maybe come into a supine twist. Take this next moment to give your body any final stretch before we release into our Shavasana and meditation. When you're ready, start to make your way into your final resting shape. Getting as comfortable as you need to. And just take a breath as you settle in. And really feel the ground underneath you. Allow it to hold you so that you can feel safe to release. And softening your feet, your legs, your hips, your belly. 
your chest. your arms and your fingers. And then take a moment, unclench your jaw, soften your face, your nose, your eyes, your ears. And just really allow your breath to flow freely through your body. Allow yourself to experience this moment of ease. And asking yourself, what brings you a sense of joy, a sense of pleasure? Do you allow yourself to experience these things often? And are you comfortable with expressing your sense of joy and pleasure and even sensuality? Notice what might be blocking you from expressing and experiencing your abundant creative energy. And see if you can lean into what's blocking you. And challenge yourself. To express and experience your life out loud. And with joy and ease. So just sit with that for a few more breaths. Taking your time in your next breath, start to add soft, subtle movements back into your body. And take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. And start to turn your body around. Come into a fetal position, any side. And use your palm to push your body up. Take a nice grounding seat. Hands can go wherever they feel supportive. That can be heart center. One hand on your heart, on your belly. Just take a moment here. Give yourself some gratitude. Gratitude for 
taking these past three days to just focus on connecting deeper to yourself, to your womb, and to your hips. Always honoring the creative life force within you. And always honoring your practice, no matter where you are on your yoga journey. Let's go ahead and take our final breath together, closing out with gratitude, with grace, with ease, with pleasure, with connection, expression. And incorporating these themes into our daily life. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Inhale, everyone. Breathe all of this intention and love through your body, into your womb, your hips, your belly. And exhale. So much gratitude, everyone. Thank you so much for trusting in me to guide you for these three days. I hope that you've had a great time connecting with yourself learning more about yourself. And I hope that you take these themes and continue to apply them into your daily life practice of connection, of expression, and of pleasure and creativity. Feel free to check out more of my work on my website, Hidden Alchemy by Sade, as well as my YouTube channel, Hidden Alchemy by Sade. Thank y'all so much, so much gratitude. Be well, and I will see you all soon.